Hello there, RiderFlex Nation. Steve Urban here. More career advice and job interviewing tips for you. And today's podcast, when is it appropriate to blow up that bridge? Now, if you have several million dollars in the bank or you're perfect, you can go ahead and stop listening now. But if you're part of the rest of the group, here's my advice for you on blowing up bridges. This is when I think it's the appropriate time. Are you ready? Here it is. This is when you do it. Never. <laughs> you know, I'm 50 years old, and I will tell you that between the age of 20 and 35, I blew up a lot of bridges. In fact, I probably hurt my career in many ways early on. And some of those bridges that I blew up or some of those bridges I never established probably still haunt me to this day, and I probably could be more successful than I already am. Almost all of my references and referrals and relationships and networking have been built from the age of 35 to 50 because I learned how important that was over time. You know, I, I get it, right? I understand. People make you mad. They do you wrong. They treat you unfairly. They're mean. They're criminals. They're whatever, right? There, there's always this justification in your head to blow up a bridge and tell somebody what you think and let them have it and give it to them and, you know, share your thoughts and light that dynamite. Here's what I recommend. I recommend distancing yourself from the bridge or crossing the bridge down river if you need to, but don't blow up the bridge that you might need to come back to someday. And trust me, I've learned from experience you never know when a relationship or a contact is going to come back to haunt you or help you in some way. It's a smaller world professionally than you realize. And in fact, with LinkedIn and Facebook and all these technology uh, advances to keep up with people and stay in touch, when you blow up bridges, it's, it, you've, you've done it forever, right? It follows you around. Just a couple of months ago, in fact, RiderFlex signed a big contract with a new client. I knew the CEO personally because I had worked with the CEO probably 11, 12 years ago. Keep in mind, there were times back then where I wanted to blow up the bridge with that particular relationship. But guess what? I didn't. And I'm so glad I didn't because 11 years later, I'm sitting across the conference table signing a big contract for RiderFlex. Had I blown up that bridge, had I told that person back then what I thought about them, probably wouldn't have got that contract. And I can share many, many, many more stories with you like that. Now, I'm not saying you have to be best friends with them and send them Christmas cards, but just never blow up bridges. It's never a good idea. Again, I'm not saying you have to cross that bridge like i said use the bridge you know down the road but don't blow up the one that you might need to come back to i'm telling you in business it's all about relationships and networking and who you know and the better job you do of maintaining the bridge the better chance you're going to have to be you're going to have being successful as you move along in your career now one last thing when you're really mad and you, and you want to blow up the bridge and you just can't take it, right? You really just got to tell this person off. Do this. Go into the restroom and look in the mirror and ask yourself, are you perfect? Do you treat everybody perfectly? Have you done things to people sometimes that probably weren't fair or right because you're not perfect and you made mistakes? Ask yourself that question, think about it, sleep on it before you light the dynamite and blow up the bridge, okay? And there is your Rider Flex tip of the day. As always, folks, you can call in and email us with questions. We'll help you in any way we can. Our podcast can be heard just about anywhere these days, all types of platforms. You can visit riderflex.com to learn more about us. Thanks a lot for listening and have a wonderful day.